to Worcester, where police say a man attacked a staff member at one of the Worcester Public Libraries. All the city libraries were then closed today because of this incident. That suspect arrested and then appeared in court earlier today. 7's Chris Rogers live for us in Worcester with more on this story. Chris. Well, if you stop by any public library in the city of Worcester, this is what you'd see today, a close sign. You can see some people right now approaching the library but being turned away because of locked doors and the closed sign after all libraries citywide were shut down after an attack on a staff member. Charged with assault and battery with dangerous weapon, serious bodily injury, and assault and battery with dangerous weapon. 31-year-old Harry Frontman appeared in Worcester District Court facing several charges. He's accused of attacking a city employee with a skateboard at the main library on Salem Street. Police were able to speak to the complaining witness and review surveillance video, which showed this defendant throwing a skateboard, striking the complaining witness in the back of the head. That complaining witness for a time did fall unconscious and was taken to the hospital. According to investigators, it was an unprovoked attack. What was in the mind of the person who got attacked and what was in the mind of the person who did the attacking. City officials say all public libraries were shut down Friday so staff could be debriefed. Some people were disappointed when they were met with locked doors and closed signs. I was going to get one of my favorite author, author, another one of her books. A judge ordered Frotman to stay away from all Worcester public libraries. I'm going to set bail at 10,000 cash. As parents who showed up to the library with their kids were left in shock. You don't really know what's going to go on. And obviously going to the library, that's not on my mind at all. Now, city officials tell me all public libraries in the city of Worcester will be open again during normal hours tomorrow. We're live in Worcester. Chris Rogers, 7 News.